Hi, I'm John with Green Street Lessons, and today I'll be showing you how to play Woman by Wolfmother off their 2004 self-titled album. Okay, so this is the uh, first part of the song. It serves as the intro and the verse. Um, pretty easy chord shapes, but the speed of it can be a little challenging. Uh, it goes like this. That's all there is to it. A lot of power chord shapes. Um, the first chord, what you're going to do is play the low E string open. You're going to put your first finger on the A string 7th fret and your third finger on the D string 9th fret for this chord. Now make sure that the low E string sounds out. It could be pretty easy to mute it with your index finger, so just be careful about that. So it's, and then you're going to drop down into the next part, which is just, you um, use your index finger, low E string, fifth fret, strike that, hammer on with your third finger onto the seventh fret, low E string, and then use your index finger on the A string, fifth fret, at so, and that's fast, that's a triplet, so it's, and then putting it all together, just. And then after you play that three times, you're going to put your index finger on the low E string, fifth fret, and your third finger on the A string, seventh fret. And then you're going to slide that shape down to the 3rd fret. And that's all there is with the verses. Um, a few notes on that. Like I mentioned, keep the E string open. Don't mute it with your index finger. Um, also, the notes at the beginning are kind of swung a little bit. That's what gives it that kind of syncopated feeling. So just be real careful to play it as such, so. So yeah, if you need to start slow, um, that's definitely a good way to do it, and just slowly turn up the speed as you get a handle on it. All right, next I'm going to show you how to play the chorus. So this is the chorus. It's uh, really easy to play. It's all power chords, and it goes like this. So real easy. Um, you're going to start off with your index finger on the low E string, 5th fret and your third finger on the A string 7th fret and you'll slide that shape up to the 8th fret and then back down to the 5th fret back up to the 8th fret and then you'll slide that shape down to the 7th fret and then for the last chord up to the 10th fret And that's really all there is to it. Uh, listen to the original recording to get the correct timing on it. But that's all there is to it. And next I'll be showing you how to play the interlude. So this is the interlude. Um, this is probably the most difficult part of the song just because of the speed. It's uh, pretty fast. Um, it goes like this. Now, 
what I played there um, is a little bit addended. Um, you play the you play the first part shown in the tab before the first bar. You play that four times, and then uh, the part after that, this part. Uh, you play that 15 times through the organ solo part of the song. Um, so outside of that, um, the way I play it is I start with my third finger on the A string 7th fret. And then I use my index finger on the 5th fret of the A string. So, And then I use my third finger on the low E string. 7th fret, so, and then index finger, you can just hold it on the 5th fret A string, come back up, and then on the low E string, again, 7th fret, 3rd finger, and then 5th fret, 1st finger, and then back to 7th fret, 3rd finger, back to 5th fret, 1st finger, and then go ahead and move your index finger down to the third fret of the low E string, and then third finger on the high e, uh, low E string, fifth fret. So in, and then the second half of that is uh, pretty similar. So. So same fingering, just instead of that three at the end, substitute it for a four. And then the last note of that riff is just the low E string open. So that is. And then you're gonna go into the second part of the interlude, which is real easy. Uh, play the low E string open. And then first finger, low E string, fifth fret, low E string, third finger, seventh fret, and then A string, first finger, fifth fret. And when you play that, uh, play the first three notes as a triplet. Um, so it's just da da da. And then play the fourth note, so it's. that last little bit there um, it's the same first three notes but instead of the fifth fret on the A string put your third finger on the seventh fret of the A string so it's so and then at the end of the interlude after the organ solo part you play um, the first part of the interlude, so. And then you come up here, um, a power chord at the fifth fret, slide it down to the third fret. All right, that's most of the song. Next, I will show you the outro. So this is the outro for Woman. It's, uh, almost exactly the same as the beginning of the interlude, uh, save for a few notes. Um, it goes like this. So, as you can hear, the uh, first measure of that is exactly the same. And then you repeat that same measure again, except the last note instead of being five on the low E string, is open on the low E string. So that gives you. And that's the end of the song.